एवरीवन सो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन इंटेलिजेंट लर्नर्स सो आई हैव कम विद अ वेरी न्यू वीडियो व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर राइट बेस्ड ऑन द चैप्टर रैशनल एंड इरेशनल नंबर दैट इज द रियल नंबर्स ओनली ओके द क्वेश्चंस आर फ्रॉम आईसीएससी मैथ्स बुक ओके व्हिच इज एक्सरसाइज 1.1 and these questions are also uh, relevant for the cbse students also so please go through that okay uh, yeah so let's uh, have a short description about the rational and the irrational numbers first okay so let's talk about first about the rational numbers so rational numbers are those numbers which are in the form of p by q and second condition q should not be equal to 0 and third one p and q both are integers okay so rational numbers are those number which are in the form of p by q means there should be any integer in the place of p and there should be any integer at the place of q it will be a negative integer it will be a positive integer no matter and q is not equal to 0 because if denominator is 0 then that number will become not defined right and both the numbers are integers okay and integers are those number which are positive numbers negative number and zero also so these are the rational number but if i will talk about the irrational number irrational numbers are those number which are not in the form of p by q but q can't be zero and p uh, because we don't have in the form of p by q okay so but whatever number you have that is an integer only uh, which is under the root right any number you have as an irrational number is under the root okay suppose it is root 2 so 2 is an integer but it should be under the root like root 23 like 3 root 2 like 5 root 6 right this is an irrational number right which is not in the form of p by q but q can't be zero it can be one right okay so this is a short description about the rational and the irrational number so let's move towards the question everyone so the first question from the selina book is is zero a rational number because zero is an integer zero is an integer so yes we can write zero as zero by one because rational number is in the form of p by q so we can write as zero by one you can't write one by zero because if you have zero in the denominator it it will become not defined now okay it will not be a number you can't define so zero can be written as zero by one so yes zero is a rational number because it is in the form of it is in the form of p by q and here q is equal to 1 okay it can't be 0 it equal to 1 because we are writing 0 as 0 by 1 okay and it is in the form of p by q so p is 0 here and q is 1 here right so this is the question okay so i think it's very much clear moving towards the next question everyone okay so the statement the question is based on the statement whether it is true or whether it is false we have to give reason also for every part so the first part is every whole number is a natural number you know that whole numbers are those which starts from 0 1 2 and up to infinity mean it will go on 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 means all are positive numbers starting from 0 0 1 2 3 4 up to infinity then we have natural numbers natural number are those which starts from 1 and it is also move up to infinity so they are saying is every whole number is a natural number zero which is a whole number is not a natural number okay so it is false because zero is not a zero is not a natural number zero is a whole number right everyone so every except zero every whole number is a natural number you can write that okay that's the description of this question now part 2 part 2 is every whole number is a rational number the second part every whole number so you know that 
whole number again i'm telling you which are numbers starting from 0 1 2 3 and up to infinity so if you will see 0 0 is a rational number because we can write 0 as 0 by 1 it is in the form of p by q and q is not equal to 0 similarly 1 we can write 1 as 1 by 1 we can write 2 as 2 by 1 so all the numbers you have as a whole number are all rational numbers so this is true and this first one is false okay now moving towards the third part every integer is a rational number so integers are those numbers which are on the number line so in the center it you have zero then you have positive numbers up to infinity and also in the left you have the negative number okay up to infinity minus infinity so all those number which you have as an integer on the number line they all are rational because because if i'm saying minus two you can write minus two as minus two by one so this is also a rational number because you just have to uh, complete that number in the form of p by q so every integer is a rational number that is true now moving towards the next part every rational number is a whole number every rational number so rational number are those which are in the form of p by q suppose i'm saying minus 2 you can write this minus 2 as minus 2 by 1 but this is a negative number and negative numbers are not the negative numbers are not the whole number because whole numbers are just the positive numbers okay so every rational number is not a whole number because negative numbers which are rational but they are not whole numbers because whole numbers are positive okay so this is false i think it's very much clear everyone okay moving towards the next part okay now next question is arrange minus 5 by 7 7 by 12 minus 2 by 3 and 11 by 18 in the form in the ascending order because we know that in ascending order we are moving from lower towards the higher value, highest value, right? Towards the higher value, right? Now we have to see which one is the lowest value and which one is the highest. If you have the numbers in the form of fraction or you have the rational number, to, so to see whether which one is lowest value, which one is the highest value, you have to make the denominator same. You have to make the denominator as same but here the denominator of each value is not same so what we will do everyone we have to make the denominator as exactly same so what should be the denominator so we have to take the we have to take the lcm of every denominator so 7 12 3 and 18 starting from 3 so 3 4 za, 3 1 za, 3 6 za. then with 2 2 2 za, 1 za, and 2 3 za. then again with 2 2 1 za, 1 za, and 3 za. then again with 3 7 1 1 1 then with 7 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 so 3 2 za, 6 6 2 za, 12 12 3 za, 36 and 36 multiply 7 is how much how much 252 okay so it means the LCM is 252. Now let's take the first value 5 by 7. What you have to make here you have to make the denominator as 252. So what we will do uh, everyone we will divide and multiply by the same number. So what should I multiply in 7 to make it as 252 okay. So it's 3 Okay, 7 is a 21, 4 remainder and 7 is a 40. It means I will multiply 36 up and down. In that, I will multiply and divide by 36 to make the denominator as 252. Okay. And it will be. So I multiply 36, multiply 5 and 36, multiply 7. So it will become minus 180 by 252. Similarly, into 7 by 12. I will multiply because you know if what you have to multiply in 12 to make it 252. So 21, right? So if I will multiply because 21 multiply 12 is 252 only, okay? So uh, 
now you will ask me ma'am how you get to know that i have to multiply with 21 only everyone you just have to because whatever the lcm you have to just divide by the denominator so 12 2 are 24 1 12 and 12 ones are 12 okay it means 21 through 21 you have to divide and multiply so similarly in every number so it will become 147 and it's 252 now moving towards this what should I multiply in 3 to make it a 252? Okay, so 3, 8 is a 24 and 3, 4 is a 12. So 84 you have to multiply to make it as 252. And minus, it's 168. Now, next you have is 11 by 18. What you should multiply in 18 to make it 252? Okay, so 18, 1 is a 18 and 18, 4 is a 72 and similarly with this right so 14 multiply 11 is how much 154 and divided by 252 so these are the numbers so now the numbers you will get here is minus 1 80 by 252, 147 by 252, 168 by 252 and 154 by 252, right? So it means now the denominator are exactly same. We can easily tell the numbers as which is the smallest one, which is the lowest one. So negative numbers are always smaller. So which one is smaller? Minus 180 is smaller and minus or minus 168 is smaller. In negative part, the number is which is greater, that is a smaller number. So this is a okay smallest number then minus 168 by 252 then 147 or 154 147 by 252 and then 154 by 252 so but we have to write the actual answer so which one is the smallest 180 by 252 is minus 5 by 7 then minus 168 by 2 by 3 is minus 2 by 3. Then which number is greater? 147 by 252. It means 7 by 12. Seven by twelve. And then last one is you have uh, 11 by 18. Okay. So it means this one, then this one, then this one, and this is the exact answer. So you uh, for the actual answer, you have to write the original fractions. Okay, to prove your answer. Now, next question is also find a difference between the largest and the smallest of these rational numbers. So which one is the smallest? Minus 5 upon 7. And which one is the largest? Minus uh, 11 by 18. Right? So let's talk about this. I think up till here it is clear. So minus 5 by 7, you have to find the difference. And because whenever you are finding the difference, you have to write the larger value first. Because you are finding the difference and the smaller value. So when you will open the bracket according to the board mass rule, you have to first open the bracket. So open the bracket means there are two signs. So minus minus is plus. Again, take the LCM because the numbers, uh, denominators are exactly different. So what is the LCM here? So two threes are six, six threes are 18 and 18 sevens are how much? 126, right? So 126. So 18 multiply what is 126? 18 7 ja and 11 7 ja 77. Similarly, 7 18 ja 126 and 18 5 ja how much it is? 90. So what is the answer? It is 7 and it is how much? 167 upon 126 is the difference okay because we have to find the difference between the largest and the smallest of these rational number so this one is the largest i already proved that and this one is the smallest and because we have to find the difference so we have to subtract them and minus minus is plus and this is the answer i think it's very much clear okay now next part is express this difference as a decimal fraction correct up to one decimal place now this is a difference i have got through now i have to convert it into the decimal fraction so let's talk about this so the answer is 167 by 126 167 by 126 and convert it into the decimal expansion so i have to divide the bigger number by the smaller number means the numerator by denominator it's vanja and the lcm uh, the remainder is 41 similarly 
again i have to point put the point because 41 is smaller than 126 then again uh, by which number it will go i think 3 hmm. 3 6 18 3 2 6 7 and 3 right so 2 and 3 and 0 and the remainder is 32 so the answer will be 1.3 and this we can say 1.3 okay you can see that 1.3 is the correct answer okay so this is the decimal expansion of 167 by 126 i think it's very much clear okay so moving towards the next question everyone okay now let's talk about the question now this time we have to prove we have to put in descending order so let's take Write the numbers first. So these are the fractions and I told you already to write in the ascending order or to write in the descending order. First, we have to make the denominator as same. Okay, so for that, I have to take the LCM. So 4, 2 is 8, 4, 4 is 16, 4 1 is 4, 4 is 32. Then with 2, 2 1 is 2, 2 is and two fours are then again with two ones are and twos are and again with two so one one so four twos are eight eight to the sixteen sixteen to thirty two it means thirty two is the LCM so what is LCM LCM is thirty two now take the first number what should I multiply in eight to make it thirty two it is four because I have I am multiplying with eight also and I should multiply with four because I have to multiply and divide by the same number so the answer will become twenty by thirty two. Similarly, with minus 3 by 16, so 32, I have to, what, what should I multiply in 16 to make it 32? 2 by the same number, I have to multiply and by the same number, you have to divide. So it's 6 by 32. Similarly, with 1 by 4, what should I multiply in 4 to make it 32? It will be 8. So with the same number, I should multiply and with same number, I should divide. It will become minus 8 by 32. Similarly, 17 by 32, it is the denominator exactly 32. So I don't have to multiply or divide by any other number. So now the result is minus 20 by 32, minus 6 by 32, minus 8 by 32 and minus 17 by 32. So to make it in the descending order, I should write the bigger one first. So which is the bigger number? Because I know the positive numbers are bigger. 17 is bigger or 20 is bigger? 20 is bigger. So 20 by 32. Then smaller Oh, sorry, I should write the descending sign, right? The bigger one. So then 17 by 32. And then minus 6 is bigger or minus 8 is bigger? Of course, minus 6 is bigger. So minus 6 by 32 and minus 8 by 32. Now the original numbers. 20 by 32 is what? 5 by 8 only? 17 by 32 is 17 by 2 because in 17 by 32, we don't have to multiply any number. It's exact. The denominator exactly 32 only. Then minus 3 by 16 and then minus 8 by 32. So we have already put all the numbers in the descending order. What we have to do now, we have to find the sum. So sum of the lowest and the largest of these fractions. So which is the largest fraction? It is 5 by 8 because we have to find the sum and the sum of the largest and the smaller one. So this is the smaller one. So if I will open the bracket, it will become 5 by 8 minus 8 by 32 because plus minus is minus now what should i do everyone i should take the lcm because the denominator are exactly not same so 8 32 lcm is 32 only so 8 in the table of 8 we have 4 times 32 8 4s are 32 4 5s are 20 minus 32 1 ja so 1 8 ja 8 so what will be the answer everyone the answer will be 12 by 32 okay and you can also convert it into a lowest form so 4 3s are 12 and 4 8s are 32. So the answer is 3 by 8. What is the sum? In this question, they are asking for the sum. In the previous question, they have asked for the difference. So what is the sum here? Sum is 3 by 8. Now we have to convert it 3 by 8 into the decimal expansion form. So let's take 3 by 8 in the form of decimal expansion because we have to divide numerator by denominator. And here, the numerator is smaller, so I will put point here and put 0. So 8, 4 is a 32 is bigger, so 8, 3 is a 24. Then 6, again, I have to put 0 by using this decimal only. So 8, 6 is a, uh, no, 8, 7 is a 56, and the remainder is 4. And again, I will put 0 and 8, 5 is a 40. So the, what is the decimal expansion of 3 by 8? It will be 0 0.375 is the correct answer i think it's very much clear 
Okay, now moving towards the next part, next question. Okay, now the question is, Without any actual division, we don't have to divide. Which of the following rational numbers have terminating decimal representation? So first number is 7 by 16. I told you, when I told you about the rational numbers, in rational numbers, it is in the form of P by Q. It is in the form of P by Q. Q can't be 0. Here Q is 16. Both the numbers should be integer. They are integers and denominator. For the terminating rational number, the denominator should be in the form of 2 key power n multiply 5 key power m. Okay. Now, everyone, how I should know that this is 2 key power n multiply 5 key power m. Okay. Now, take the LCM of 16. So, 2 8s are, 2 4s are, 2 2s are, and 2 1s are. How many 2s are there? It is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. It means it is 7 by 2 key power, how much? It is 4. But you will say, ma'am, there is no power of 5. 5 is not there. So everyone, if there is a power of 2 only, if there is a power of only 5, or if there is a power of 2 key power something, multiply 5 key power something, it is a terminating rational number. So here we don't have the 5 power. So we'll write as 5 key power 0. Because 5 key power 0 is 1 only. Okay? So we don't have to... Uh, because we are not able to see here 5. So, we will write uh, for our, hum apni sahuliyat ke liye kya kar lete hai, we will write at 5 ki power 0. Or you don't have to write. You don't have to write also. It is, if there is, if the denominator is in the form of only 2 ki power m, n or m, or if the denominator is only in the form of 5 ki power n or m, or it is in the form of this, then it is a, so you will write, because denominator is in is denominator is in the form of two key power n, then rational number is terminating rational number. Okay, it is a terminating rational number. Is that clear, everyone? Okay, clear? Okay, so this is a terminating rational one because it the denominator is in the form of 2 key power n. Okay, now moving towards the next part. Now, the next question is, we have to show that 123 by 250 is a terminating decimal expansion. If you want a terminating decimal expansion, the denominator should be either in the form of 2 key power n or in the form of 5 key power n or in the form of 2 key power n multiply 5 key power m. Okay. So let's take the LCM first of 250. So 2 1s are, 2 2s are, and 2 5s are, then with 5. So 5 2s are, 5 5s are, then again with 5, and then again with 5. So the denominator will become. 2 multiply 5 key power 3 because there are 3 5. Now it is actually showing that denominator is in the form of 2 key power n multiply 5 key power n because n is 1, 2 key power is 1 and m is 3. Okay, so you will say because denominator is in the form of 2 key power n multiply 5 key power n. Therefore, 123 by 250 is a terminating rational number. Okay, everyone. So I think questions are very much clear. So one, two questions which are based on this only, but whether it is a terminating decimal representation or not. So you have to follow the exact same process. You have to see whether the denominator is in the form of either 2 key power n or 5 key power n or 2 key power n multiply 5 key power n. Okay, all three are uh, okay for a terminating decimal representation of a rational number. Okay, so thank you everyone. And before leaving the class, please subscribe to my channel that is Intelligent Learners. And if you are liking the videos, please share with others also. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone. And also comment what you need more um, in this chapter or in other chapter, right? So thank you.